Hi, what's going on? My name is Jonah Fox, and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Seidel 1847 Lightning. It's a very high-end harmonica in Seidel's 1847 lineup, and I'm going to tell you if it's really worth all the money today and help you decide if this harmonica is right for you. So let's go and get started with today's video. Let's go take a look at this 1847 Lightning on Seidel's sales page. And the first thing I want to point out to you is the price. This harmonica is 135 dollars 95 cents currently on Seidel's official website. This is an expensive harmonica. You can even start getting semi-custom harmonicas at this price point. So this harmonica really needs to be very well playable, very responsive, and not have read problems, in my opinion, to justify this higher price tag. And this harmonica here is built all with stainless steel. So if you look down here, it uses polished stainless steel reeds and it also has uh, stainless steel cover plates and a polished solid comb made of stainless steel right there. And that comb is really what makes this harmonica a little bit different for better and for worse. Really quick, if you want to improve your harmonica practice at home, you should check out my free harmonica accelerator course. It is totally free. The link is down below in the description. I'm just going to teach you how to practice so you can really make the most of one of these harmonicas when you finally pick one up check it out. One more thing that I wanted to point out is the tuning of this harmonica. Now this harmonica is generally going to come in regular Richter tuning and if you want to change that you can go and click this custom shop tab at the top here and click config harmonicas. So when you do this you're going to get into this customizable page here for all these different harmonica types. So you would go and scroll down to get the 1847 lightning. It is going to be a little bit more expensive if you're going to customize it from here but you can go through this process and you can choose either a completely customized tuning or you can uh, do this and just pick a tuning from the list. So you'll see that there's a bunch of different tunings that you could explore that would fit on this harmonica as well. Let's go take a close look at the 1847 Lightning Harmonica. Now the first thing that I want to point out is that these cover plates are really nice. I really like the 1847 thing engraved here. I think that's pretty cool. You only got a single screw on both sides. You'll notice mine are different colors because I lost one, so one of them is replaced. And it's just a very nicely designed harmonica. I, I have no problem with the angle on this harmonica, like the angle of the cover plates to the front. It feels good to me. And the comb itself is very nice. You can see that there's a little bit of roundness on the different holes, which I really like. And this, there's the same thing there with the 1847 Classic that I have as well. It's just a nice feature of these harmonicas. They're a little bit rounded without being completely holes like some other harmonicas that you can pick up. So the 1847 47 I think is really good. I will point out this is a very heavy harmonica. That stainless steel comb really adds some weight to this harp. Let's go take a look at what this is like inside with the cover plates taken off. All right, so here is the 1847 without its cover plates. Now, this is not a new harmonica, so it looks a little bit more worn than it would be new from the factory, I would hope at the very least. Um, if we take a look at the reeds here, the reeds are pretty good. I haven't really done any work on this harmonica in particular, aside from trying to get one of the overblows from working. And if I'm looking at the reeds right now, I think the tolerances are pretty low. I would do some like basic gapping stuff like this. This is the first time I've really taken a look at this harmonica on the internal. So yeah, I could see a little bit of work that could potentially need to be done. But the setup of this harmonica was pretty good for me. I couldn't get any of the overblows to work out of the box, so keep that in mind. But you might have more luck on your harmonica as compared to mine. So this is what the reads are like. Now let me go jump over to a playing demo. If this video is helping you, would you do me a favor and click the like button? It helps this video reach more people. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks. At this point, I'd like to show you some demos of this harmonica. The first thing I'm going to be playing here is just a very simple chord melody kind of playing with just me solo on the harmonica so you can go and check it out. Here we go.
For this demo, I'm going to put on a backing track, but I'm still going to play this harmonica acoustically because an amp and a microphone will change the sound a little too much, just so you can get an idea of what this sounds like in context. Check it out. <laughs> Now that you know the details and we've done some demos, I want to tell you what I think about this harmonica. First of all, I really like the quality in it. It's very heavy, which is kind of strange as far as harmonicas go, but I like it. It makes me feel like I'm holding an instrument and not a toy. There are some harmonicas that are extremely light. I'm looking at you, Lee Oscar, and they uh, just, just, just don't feel good. They don't feel like a quality instrument where this definitely does. Uh, another thing I like about this harmonica is the longevity of it. The stainless steel reeds really are going to last for quite a long time. And of course, the comb being completely metal is going to last for a long time as well. So if you're the kind of person that likes to get a harmonica and really just adapt to one style of harmonica and you don't want to deal with replacing your harps over the years, I can't imagine you're going to really need to replace one of these lightnings because the comb's not going to really go bad and the reeds are going to take forever being stainless steel. So this is a harmonica that could potentially be a lifetime instrument for you. So you want to keep that in mind when deciding to pick this up. Um, compared to the other Seidel harmonicas that I've tried, the other 1847s at least, uh, I don't think I like the stainless steel comb very much. It's you know, it's nice. I like the feeling of it, right? But the thing that really bothers me is the fact that it's hard. And often when I pull my harmonica up to my face, I occasionally will clink my teeth on the comb and it hurts. And it's something that I feel like I have to be constantly on guard with when I'm using this harmonica and I don't when I have to use other harmonicas that have plastic or wood combs. So it's just something to keep in mind that the fact that this cone is really hard could potentially hurt you. And it's definitely not one of my most played harmonicas because of that reason. You know, as far as the whole sound of this harmonica, you know, I think it's pretty good. It's not as loud as some other harmonicas that I have, and it lacks a certain level of raspiness that I like out of um, bronze and brass reed harmonicas. Like, there's this DeBell Noble, which is in the same key. I'm just going to play something really quick just so you can hear the difference. <laughs> okay. There's something that's a little bit dirtier about the DeBell, which I definitely prefer over the 1847. So just keep that in mind. If you really like the sound of um, a very reedy harmonica, especially the sound of like honers, then I don't think this Seidel is gonna really do it for you, but it's definitely a nice harmonica. It is uh, very quality. It's gonna last you a very long time. However, I need to address the elephant in the room. This is an expensive harmonica. So if I'm getting an expensive harmonica, I want the setup to be perfect. I want to not have any other weird problems like the comb hurting me. And so for that reason, I don't think I'd buy another one again, but I, I do like it and I do play it. And I give this harmonica, let's say a solid eight out of 10. Just in case you get one of these harmonicas and you need to do some adjustment of the reeds, you should watch this video up here, which will teach you how to do that. That's it for today. I will see you in the next one. Peace.